right, very good. What are we, Wednesday morning? I think we're Wednesday. Anyways, we're just cleaning the uh, platform here. Getting ready to castrate some calves today. Cows are getting anxious, getting waiting uh, to be fed. We got a mix spinning for them right now. I just cleaned the platform there. Now I gotta clean this strip here. And I gotta clean that barn. And we're done here. All right. All right, all clean. I'll lock this up. Make sure you lock it or you'll be running after cows. All right, Devin's making the mix. So I'm gonna go bring that manure spreader up to uh, Hardy farmer, we're gonna store it for the winter. I just turned it on this morning to let it warm up. Windows were foggy, so I cranked the heat. I'm gonna go put that away. If you didn't see in yesterday's video, I washed this thing. You can see the before and after, especially on the beater. Man, that beater was dirty. We're gonna go squeeze this into the barn. Hopefully we got some room. And, uh, well, maybe we'll go shopping for a new one because this thing is pretty beat. So it feels really hard to drive. It feels like the brake is still on. It feels like it's stuck. Uh, I don't know why it feels like that. As soon as I put it in gear and drive, it's like dragging. Uh, I'm try to see. This brake right here, actually. You have to push it. It's an old cable. I wouldn't be surprised if it's stuck. But you can feel that there's nothing attached to it. So I don't know if it's let go here. Uh, let's figure out with that. All right, so when I take it out of gear, we're rolling again. It's stuck. The cable, the push-pull cable is getting old. So we're gonna have to replace that because I just, just noticed it now. You wouldn't want to drive down the road with that because Something would get hot real quick. So unfortunately I have to unhook the spreader here. Usually we have, we put it in this little extension in the back of the barn right here. But there's a bunch of wooden beams. I guess the cows knocked over. So they have to be moved. Uh, tried fitting it in here. The top of the beaters just hit the top of the door, which is Unfortunate because it's wide enough, it's just not tall enough. It's this one beam here. It would have been good once it's in here, but the shed's also ready to fall down. It's full of junk, so we'll leave it for here for now. We'll come back up when we got time, probably in January, <laughs> and then we'll put it away properly. All right, we're back. Everything's clean, they're all fed, they're eating. And you can see, we got a lot of calves right here. That's what we want. We wanna catch them all so we can castrate them. We're gonna close this one gate so the big guys don't mix. Oh, their barn's getting cleaned out. That's so. We'll just lock them over here. And we'll try to get some middle ones over. All right, we're just getting ready for uh, castrating and vaccinating. Um, so we're giving this uh, Tazvax 8. This is the, we already gave it to the, the calves when they were newborn. And we're just giving it to them uh, as a booster again. 
Um, they also received this uh, Bovi Shield Gold Aid, which is similar to this we usually get. Um, so this is a live vaccine, so it's a two piece you mix together. And that's for a bunch of um, respiratory uh, illnesses, so a preventer. So we give them that, and we got a bunch of needles. So uh, that will do it for the vaccination part. Um, so the bulls, obviously, they get castrated. So we use a, a bloodless band, as they call it. So it's an uh, elastic band. I'll show real quick. Uh, so it uses these rubber bands and the clip that uh, goes behind the rubber band when it's tight to hold it in place. Super good luck with these. We never have any trouble. We don't have any stags. So uh, we like using these. So we're just gonna set up our um, scale so that we have um, for our spring group. Spring. Always gotta go double check what year it is. For some reason, I can't remember what year it is. Spring 2022. So this here will put in all the weights um, and it will tell us when we weigh them again, their, their daily gain, overall daily gain and all that fun stuff and how many days it's been since they last weighed. So we like this one. Everybody in. You're hungry, but you have to wait. So we're not, uh, we're not gonna put them, run them through just yet. We're gonna wait for the cows to finish eating. So we're not fighting with them. And then once they're full, we'll put them out in the pasture and put the calves through. Uh, it's just better than fighting with them. Meanwhile, I'm just cleaning up whatever fell off the manure spreader when we washed it yesterday. A lot of muck. Just tidying up the yard in front where we blew off the uh, baler. All that hay, clean that up. It's nice when it's dry. Probably the nicest fall we've ever had. Go. We're just sorting. Let's go. Putting all the cows outside. Keep all the calves inside. So far, so good. Everybody drank. They're not too clingy. Come on, fatty. Come on, forward. You go back. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we're just gonna sort them out like this, one by one, two by two. Got some calves over. Now we're just getting cows. Whatever's left over. He was the one guy that got away on us. Wet and dirty dog. Now we gotta load them up. Everybody's in. First contestants. So we got 
gotta do tags, vaccinations, wait. All right, so we're rolling slow but steady. I'm gonna show you what we do. So we cut the tag out. Now we give them another tag. So we use these to cut out the uh, old ear tags. Just to put the new ones in. Here are the new tags, box of full ones. Uh, we give them a booster, we give them this. It's the first time they get it. And then we castrate them if they're full. And then we weigh them with their new number. And we make sure this dog doesn't screw it all up. This is our bowl. Good weight too. So we're at 17 and it's already 2.30, so it's taking a while. Crazy dog. It's a gorgeous November 2nd. We're just taking a break, it's about 3.30. We got about 30 steers uh, castrated and well, maybe half half of them are heifers. So heifers go a little bit quicker, but when the ones are males, they have no tag. So they need a new tag. Kind of cut out the old one, give them two vaccine shots, then castrate them, enter them into the computer. It takes a long time. So that's why it's taking a little longer, but I could do this all day, so <laughs> I like doing this stuff. So if we don't get it done, we'll get it done tomorrow. No big deal. Roxy, stop it. So this is the castration gun. He's experienced it. We're at 37. to go oh yeah fair bit couldn't quite get it all done today I'm gonna resume tomorrow just gonna put these away separately so they can get something to drink and eat and we'll come at it tomorrow again all right thanks for watching i'll catch you tomorrow finish up those uh steers and vaccinations and i mean castrations and vaccinations anyways it's been a long day thanks for watching